day for me just because I've been in meetings all day so I haven't really done much outside of this office like I've literally been here all day and it's been interesting I didn't realize how bare and big this room was but look there's no more desks on this side at all where is everyone I was looking for everyone they're gone they left yeah Oh, I guess we're eating by ourselves. Aww. Are you guys eating dinner? I think so. I don't know. It depends on Bart. No, I bought so much Thai food if you didn't see on his snap. I was saying um, there's going to be a lot of redecoration going on here. It's going to be super fun. Uh, I think we're going to make every area a different theme. So back here will be like beach theme or something. But we'll get to that later when that gets started. I've actually just been in my office this whole time. At my desk here. And I don't even know, have I ever talked to you guys about my office? My desk? I don't know why I keep calling it an office, but it used to be on that side over there. But now we have a conference table. And then um, Aaron's massive ass desk is gone. And now it's just that. And then on this side, we have Evan. They bought a little like basketball thing there's just these random lights now i don't think they know where to put it the dean and then churro's desk but for me i'm now in this corner with better lighting if you can't tell that lighting's super bright that one's not as bright that one's not as bright and that one's not as bright i actually took marie's plus she's our fashion illustrator and um she was sitting in that corner that's why the light is so bright she needs to match a lot of different colors to the fabrics that we want. Um, so she needed as much bright light as possible. But she has her own space now. So I took over her corner and I love it. Let me give you a little tour. So I have my little rug and right down here is where the beds like to kick it. Beds, where the dogs like to kick it on their dog bed. But look where they're at right now. <laughs> Not on, dude, look, it's right there, guys. They don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. That's literally them all the time. They're so freaking chill. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, we have a little fridge. We got a bunch of snacks. We got a printer. But specifically my desk, it's glass, which is really cool because it makes me feel like I'm not trapped in one area, just staring at a piece of wood all day. Um, and I have like a little nook area, if you will. It's here. I can hang things there, but I never do. I have my little mirror. Um, I have a little basket where I keep some hot chocolate. Since I'm pregnant, I can't have coffee, so I do like, I definitely enjoy having something warm to sip on, and coffee would help with that, but now since I can't have it, um, I just settle for hot chocolate. And here I have different vases that I used to have, um, like a terrarium in. That's kind of my little one that I made, but here was when I first rescued the rat. I had her live there for like the first couple nights. Um, before I could get her a cage or before I did any research because before to her um, I had never owned any rodents So I didn't know what to do or what to buy so she lived in that little thing for a bit <laughs> So I cleaned it out, but she was living here for a little bit. And she fit so perfectly in that space But now she's so big and fat She's such a healthy rat now that there's no way in hell she would ever fit in that space, but Remember, she used to fit in the size of my palm. It's so cute. Um, I have my trash can. And since I don't have much shelving or drawers, if you can't tell from my desk, 
I do have all of my supplies here. So I have like my office supplies, I have tape, I have extra pens and Sharpies and staples and everything in this little clear see-through box. If you haven't noticed, I guess the theme when I was um, putting together my desk was very clear and open spaces with wood and some metal because then here I have a clear picture frame with my mama and my papa in it that I keep on my desk and then I have let me move this then I have a clear stapler and then I have a clear tape dispenser and then I have clear post-it case and then I have a clear case for all my pencils and pens and stuff and then I have a clear little box where I can keep like mis miscellaneous items and whatnot. I'm kind of sticking with the metal theme. This is supposed to like hold files and stuff, but they fall over. So I ended up buying this. Um, and it's like where I keep all my files. And then here I'll have like, I can add envelopes and whatnot and stuff that I need. So I don't know. It's basically all I really need. And I have, oh, this. Since I don't, since I don't really see a purpose in having a desktop because I feel like for my lifestyle at least the laptop is the best because I'm constantly moving and I'm always working in different areas, different spaces so I can't really lug around a desktop and um, any work that I do on the desktop stays on the desktop so the best for me who's a pretty mobile person is to have a laptop so I do carry it with me everywhere but I like having a big screen so what I have is here is a dual monitor so I have this propped up so that I can just use a keyboard and then I connected my screens so that they share one screen so it looks like this see so I can do that this is the screen that stays here but then I plug this guy into here shares a screen have my little mouse my mouse pad and an independent keyboard so that I don't have to like type up here then of course, I love music, so I have my Bose sound system. This is usually the mic that we use, but it keeps falling off, so I figured I'm indoors. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Um, I have my mug, a mug that I really, really love. I bought it before the elections, when it was like Hillary, Trump, and uh, the one that I really actually wanted to vote for, and um, I thought I would support not wanting to vote for Trump by, I don't know, but not Trump though mug, and ironically enough, he won. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, that's pretty much my desk. It's a really chill um, spot. I feel like I need some sort of artwork or something here. So if you're an artist and would like to send over some fan art or some sort of art or something, I would like to fill up my brown walls with some sort of life. So. Hint, hint, artists, hook me up. But yeah, this is just my little space. What else should I do with it? Is there anything else you see I need? I already kind of feel like I have a little bit of a clutter, but I don't know, you tell me. You think I need more stuff on my, on my desk? Look. <laughs> I'll just give you one last, one last look. I love that I can always see meatloaf. Still not on his bed, by the way. Oh, and then here's the other side. Just in case you want to see it one more time. And again, guys, just a hint. I want some art here. It would be nice. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Okay. Well, I think it's dinner time because I'm acting a little bit stupid. I think I'm hungry. <laughs>
Maragumi Manzo. It's a handmade udons, specially made handmade udons, and it's actually really a good quality uh, flour that they use. Uh, the soup is really clean. Uh, premium beef is used in the beef udon, and it's really delicious. Would you say it's the best in LA? I say so. Definitely one of the best. A lot of people say it's the best udon in LA. Yeah, but you definitely gotta try the one in Hawaii. In Waikiki. Oh, that yeah. one is. We gotta go to Hawaii. It's legit. That's probably my favorite udon spot out of anywhere in the world. You can still go, there's plenty of time. I, bet, I, I think Japan's the best. Well, Whoa. wow. Uh, yes, Joe. <laughs> True. It's fucking lazy, guys. Oh, really? It, nothing compares. All we had was ramen. What'd you get? So, this is what they're known for. The, the sea urchin uni pasta. So I had to try it. I also asked David what I should get, and he says get the uni pasta. That's what they're known for. So I'm gonna try this. There's only one shrimp. It's a lot of uni cream. Here's the egg. Really good. Is it fishy? Not really. You want to try some? No, it's not really fishy at all. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> Here, it's really good. It's really good. Slurp it. It's very good. Are you having a heart attack? This one is the cold version. And that's cold. Goddamn! Mom, do you like uni now? It tastes like a garlicky uh, mac and cheese, but not so cheesy. That's what it tastes like to me. It's bomb. But not the whole thing. If you want any more, come and destroy it like five seconds. Oh, that's so bad. No, I better not. Then I'm not going to want to eat my food. Okay, fine. Oh. Oh. And then you can eat it. Asians taking picture of food. <laughs> I got to pop a lactate just to eat this. Oh, your lactose. The lact, yeah. Uh, give a shout out, or not a shout out, but tell your other lactate. Yo, lactate peeps, if you cannot take any dairy, take this, you won't get the runs. And it definitely helps with every bite and every meal you take. Lactate, sponsor me. <laughs> I need that brand deal. So lifetime supply is what I need. I use this every single day, every meal I take. This is what I use. You're making a lot of money off of this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finally home now. Just finished taking a shower. <gasps> Somebody's ready for bed. Hi guys. You guys, oh my goodness, you're ready for bed. Are you ready for bed? Oh my God, you're ready for bed too. Oh, babies. Cutie pies. Um, and I am wanting some cereal. I want some cereal. So, you know what? I'm gonna make myself some cereal. I have Kix Cement Toast Crunch or Honey Bunches of Oats. And I think there's no more in here. Who would do such a thing? Oh, why? Why would you do that to me? Alright, well, I'm gonna try to eat. Hopefully, it's Enough for a bowl. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Is it gonna be enough for a bowl? Oh, it's not. It's not enough for a bowl. No. It's not enough for a bowl. Oh well, what can you do? I'm gonna get some milk. My milk's down here. I have organic fat-free milk. Because I'm not the biggest fan of milk. 
I like milk paired up with other stuff, but milk by itself, not a fan. So I try to get it with no fat. I try to get it as thin as possible. Aww. Aww. Okay, well, I think that's enough. Why am I being all sobby over some fucking cereal? Come on, mama bear. You're better than that. Cereal's not that important. Come on, man. Cheer up. All right. I just need a spoon. Voila. A spoon. Well, I hope you guys had a nice day. You know, oh my god. I was about to say that I had a nice day, but look at how cute this is. How can you not love this guy? How? And look at this one. And look at that one. <laughs> so cute. But I was saying, that I hope you guys had a nice day. Like I was saying earlier, I was just in a lot of meetings and so my day was pretty chill. My meetings were pretty fun. They are for Barbell and they were for JKP. So for Barbell, we split up our meetings into separate days and we split them up according to department. So today's meetings were uh, for the apparel department and for social media and productions. And then um, once I wrapped up those meetings, then I moved into a JK party meeting where we planned all the JK party stuff um, and not scripted stuff. I don't know where that rumor started. Um, I've been reading in the comments that you guys think all this stuff is scripted. And it is not scripted at all. I think what you guys are thinking is when you heard Casey tell us the rules and that's just so that we don't fuck up the game so that you guys don't go, that's not how players are supposed to play on me. And you guys get pissed at us for playing it wrong. So Casey being the director, he directs and he gives us directions. He tells us um, when the camera's rolling, he'll tell us how to play the game, but that's about it. And scripted, guys, scripted means that we are given lines to memorize, and those are the lines we say. So whenever you've seen Casey interview us, and he has a question for us, that is not scripted. It's just a squat. Blah, blah, blah. It's just a question so that we can give our response in an organized fashion. Scripted would be like, I have my notes, and then I go, okay. Hi, my name is Gio, and today I'm going to be playing this game. And then I go, okay, action. Hi, my name is Gio. That's scripted. We don't do any of that. All we do is get directions for gameplay and what camera we need to look into. The end. All the interactions, all um, the dialogue, everything that you hear is straight from the dome. It is not replicated. It is not duplicated, it is fresh, organic, mind matter. So I hope that cleared up some things that you guys were thinking about. Um, Cause I think that's what JK kind of started its foundation on is that a lot of it is improv based and improv means there are no lines. It's straight from the brain. So yeah. So what we met for was what games are we gonna play? who's gonna be on what team, who's gonna play what, and the end. We don't decide who wins, we don't decide uh, rigging anything, it's literally, okay, we're gonna play, I'll give you an example, um, we're gonna play poker. Okay, so what players do we want playing poker? Okay, we'll get Tiff, we'll get Julia, we'll get Joe, we'll get Bart, so we do that. And then we go, okay, what type of cards do you want? Do you want really big cards, really small cards? So we just set on details like that, and then we go, okay, yeah. Okay, well, what's the best way um, for camera to capture all the right angles and facial expressions? We decide that. 
And then we go, all right, well, um, what else did we talk about? I think that's pretty much it. Any props? Wardrobe, we'll talk about wardrobe because if someone comes in with a shirt that has says fuck you on it and it's super wrinkled, we're gonna be like, oh, that shirt's wrinkled, but keep the shirt, it's really good. Um, we decide, what else do we decide? Oh, we play test it, which means um, we'll play it just to make sure that it's not a boring game. So one of the games that we play tested that internally we liked um, that didn't quite do so well with you guys was One Night Ultimate Werewolf. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Just Kidding Party or YouTube and then write Just Kidding Party, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. And when you're playing that game, it's super duper fun, but I guess watching it is not that fun because there's so much strategy. So in order to avoid any of those mishaps from happening again, we will play it and then we're like, okay, is this game fun? Is this game not fun? And then we go, okay, cool, it's fun. Now uh, we just write rules and that's it. And then day of shoot, we go, okay guys, you guys are playing this, the end. We don't say, Josh, you're gonna lose, Gio, you're gonna win. It's literally like, this is what you're doing, do your magic cast. Do what you're good at. Be entertaining. The end. But I think I talked too much because now <laughs> my cereal is getting really soggy. But it smells so good. Mmm. Wow. Another thing is um, we are, or Bart and I, will be visiting the doctor in about a week or two just to see how the baby's doing. But so far, so good. Um, I've been exercising, I've been training, as you guys have been following. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can follow my IG at geo underscore dot com. And you can visit Barbell Brigade YouTube. And that way you can see this new series that I'm involved in called Pregnant Powerlifter, where I'm literally trying to debunk that lifting weights while pregnant is bad for you. I really am. I'm a firm believer that it doesn't even necessarily have to be weights. Is if you've done something when you weren't pregnant in terms of physical activity, that you should continue doing so while pregnant, but do not overexert yourself. Do not try to like hit personal records. You do it at a moderate, calm, comfortable level. So I'm a firm believer of that because I've been reading of all these symptoms of women that they feel all these crazy things. And I really do feel like because I've been training, I don't feel a lot of them. And one of the biggest ones that I read that luckily I only got once um, was pressure headaches. Um, and the only thing we can take for headaches is Tylenol, but I'm trying really hard to just not take any of that stuff. So when I had a pressure headache, I immediately went to the gym and I worked out very moderately. Like I wasn't doing burpees, I wasn't running around. I wasn't doing crazy stuff. Like I just did a light workout and because my blood was circulating and pumping and it was, you know, um, creating new fresh blood in my body, I felt better as soon as I was done. And ever since I kept, kept up working out, I haven't gotten that stuff anymore. And I feel great. I feel really, really good. Um, wow, I kind of like this. Feels like we're connecting, you know? I'm sorry I look like this. I literally just got out of the shower. Mm. One thing I've noticed since I've been pregnant is I've been breaking a lot out a lot more. I have a really cool glow that I like. I don't know if you can see it now because I'm tired, but I've noticed I have a really cool glow, but my complexion is just not that good. Hopefully it gets better. But so far, second trimester has been treating me good. Okay, I'll end this torture. I'm sure you guys had to watch me eating for so long, but I just felt like I needed to connect with you guys more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So thank you for joining me today. It was really nice connecting with you guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful day, beautiful afternoon, a beautiful night, wherever it is in the world that you're watching me right now. So see you later, guys. Bye-bye.